I'm Adam Jones. I'm the uh, founder and owner of Max Green Windows Siding and Roofing. With windows, doors, roofing and siding, it's all designed to basically keep the weather outside where it belongs. But a lot of the times, uh, the contractors can cut corners and, uh, and it can cause leaks. So we like to protect homeowners' um, properties and we actually back it up with the industry's first and only 122 and a half year true lifetime workmanship warranty. Uh, another thing I love doing is giving back to the community. Um, the community is what supports us and, uh, and what keeps us in business. So we love giving back to local charities and planting trees in our environment. We've planted over 7,000 trees and $150,000 has been donated to local charities to date. We're about to celebrate our ninth anniversary as Max Green. Basically, when, uh, when my best friend and I, we, uh, we turned 18 three days apart and uh, so of course we had the, the usual excitement of going out to, uh, to the bars, uh, we went to a hockey game. One of the other things that we did was sign up for a credit card. Oh, it seems like a great idea, you get some nice flame swag. Ah, what can go wrong, right? Well, over time, we started using them, paying them off, and then the credit card companies started raising the limit. Before we know it, um, we're in our early 20s, we're both $20,000 in debt. He decided that rather than um, working hard to, to pay it all off, he'd take the easy way out, declare bankruptcy. I took a different path and I, I figured, well, I've got to work my butt off to get out of this. I want to build up credit, I want to be able to own a house, I want to be able to get a car loan. Um, so we went different paths. Unfortunately, he, ha he didn't follow through with his bankruptcy trustee. Um, and now here we are um, over 10 years later and he still doesn't have any credit because he didn't follow through on that. So even if you get yourself into financial difficulties, it's very important to understand that it's, uh, it's really, really uh, key to, to get yourself out and build up your credit as soon as possible. So I did that just by working hard and, and uh, basically working uh, 70 hours we weeks if I had to. Once I realized how much work it took to pay off that debt, obviously I wish I never did it in the first place. So keep that in mind when next time you go to swipe your credit card, it's, it's not just a, a quick, easy, free, uh, um, free dinner. You, you are gonna have to pay that back eventually and with interest, that $30 dinner could easily cost you $100 over time. Since then, I've been able to, uh, um, I've been able to not only pay off my debts, but also save up to, uh, to travel, to, um, to buy my first home, to build up some personal equity. And, uh, and the biggest reason for that is not spending beyond my means. Don't spend more than you make. I know it sounds very simple, but um, it's easier said than done. Since then, I was able to uh, I was able to start a business, and um, it does take quite a bit of quite a bit of time and effort and money to, to start a successful business. Um, and I wouldn't have been able to do that if I wasn't in the right financial position. Since then, I've been able to now grow the company to employ over 25 people, depending on the time of the year, and uh, and be able to give back to the community and and still provide for my family. Money and uh, material objects don't buy happiness, like Robert Kiyosaki. Saki says, uh, buy assets, not liabilities, um, buy something that could potentially make you money in the future, not, not something that's going to cost you money in the future. You don't necessarily need that brand new car when you can get a, an older, reliable vehicle for, uh, for a lot less. Self-control is, is very important and it's, it's the hardest thing to do, but um, <laughs> trust me from my experience, if you go into significant debt, uh, the interest is the worst possible thing to ever have to pay off. Well, giving back was just something that, um, that was was kind of always built into my DNA. We grew up with, with not a lot of money. We, we struggled from, um, from paycheck to paycheck like a lot of families do. Yet every chance we got, I was, I was told to uh, give back where you can and do good for others. When I started Max Green, the goal was always to um, build a charitable component into the business. And it started with a very small idea of giving $10 for every window and door we replaced to local charities. On the average $1,000 plus window, $10 is a relatively small amount, worked out to about one percent of the um, revenue so I figured it was pretty manageable and over time that small idea of ten dollars for every window and door just just ballooned and and now we do roofing and siding and like I said we we've now donated over hundred and fifty thousand dollars to local charities over the years which uh, I mean I wouldn't have been able to do if I wasn't able to get my business off the ground in the first place and if I didn't have that uh, that means to do so keep in mind too it's, you don't have to have a lot of finances to start up a business either if you want to do something you got to hustle you, you you gotta be willing to eat the craft dinner and uh, um, and sleep on the floor of a of a friend's house if you uh, if you want to get going. Just get it started, hustle. Don't spend more than you make, and things will work out if you're if you're doing the right things. Yeah.